up folks jimmy here grain the train new video to kick off the week just got back in town from texas so i'm getting caught up on everything but let me tell you i'm fired up it was a much needed trip very inspiring it's always good to get away from things that you've been doing just kind of recharge the battery so i'm fired up back at it getting to work so i want to drop this video before i head in uh, to the gym to get some clients trained up but what i want to talk about was a concept that i learned in college and somebody actually mentioned it on the trip as well at the seminar and at the seminar they word is what you don't know can hurt you and too many times you'll hear other, you'll hear it the other way around what you won't know won't hurt you and that's actually wrong because you don't know what you don't know and you could if you don't have all the facts you can miss out on a life-changing opportunity you can uh, be doing something and not be doing it correctly and therefore wasting a lot of time and energy so what you don't know can hurt you and in college, my professor was a cell biology professor, really typical class, and I was in his office hour for the first time, and I asked him straight up, like, why do you think most people, you know, fail courses? Like, why, why would most students fail this class? And I thought he'd say something like work ethic, time management, something like that. And he goes, you know what? The biggest reason why students fail this class, I believe, is due to a lack of understanding the difference between recognizing a subject and fully understanding it. So what he meant was a lot of times students will hear about a particular topic and they've heard it before in other classes and maybe easier classes but um, they don't really fully understand it but because they've heard it before they don't study it as hard to get the full understanding because they think they know about it and then what happens is on test day you know when they're testing on their their critical thinking uh, about the subject they just they don't know you know they thought they did but they really don't and they find out the hard way that they didn't know and that's a really powerful concept even outside of school because I use diet and exercise for example uh, I deal with people all the time they go Jimmy you know I I eat healthy but I'm not losing weight you know I'm doing the low carbs but the, the weights just not dropping so I'll ask them, so what did you, you know, give me an example of what you ate today. And they'll say, oh, well, you know, well, I've been, I've, I've cut out uh, pasta, white rice, and I cut out the carbs and stopped drinking pop. But, you know, this is, this, so but this is what I did have. And like for breakfast, you know, it'd be like, I had two pieces of toast, a bagel, and I had a fruit juice. And I was like, I hate to tell you this, but you you had a breakfast full of carbs, so you're not really doing low carb right now. And that's because they did when they thought of carbohydrates, they just associated with you know the pasta, the the white rice. They didn't really associate fruit juices, you know, sugar and fruit juice, and and toast with with being you know carbohydrates. And it's not necessarily their fault. You know, they did they didn't know. So you, you don't know what you don't know. So they didn't really fully understand, you know, what the low carb diet was. The same thing with eating healthy. Many people assume that they're eating healthy, but kind of don't really know what works for them. They think eating healthy is not eating fast food multiple times a week, stuff like that. But they don't realize that even though they're not eating fast food, they're probably, you know, at home eating processed foods and stuff that's really not much better for them. But again, a lot of times they just don't know. So in their mind, they think that they're doing it right, but you know, they really just doing what they know. So nobody's fault, it's just a teachable moment. And the same thing with exercise, you know, people go to the gym and they go, Jimmy, I'm just, I've been going, but I'm not getting results anymore, what's going on? And it boils down to, they just don't understand what it takes to program. You know, when, you, when you're working towards a goal, you're working towards results, you know, especially if you have big goals, in the workout area you got to have a program you have a have to have a plan to get there and a lot of people they don't know they just think go to the gym bench press squat three sets of ten you don't kind of do what's comfortable they don't understand proper progression they don't understand work to rest ratios they don't understand proper technique you know they don't understand intensity levels they don't understand all these things and they're actually kind of complex that's why you go to school for it that's why I have a master's degree in exercise science and four fitness certifications because I had to study these things like the you know the this isn't stuff that the everyday person knows but they think they do because they think they understand exercise oh yeah go to the gym do some cardio get your get your uh, strength work in and that's it 
you know, on the grand scheme of things, yes. But it goes deeper than that. Like that that's the that's the the vague picture, but it is actually much more detailed. And again, nobody's fault, they just don't know. So that's what I'm saying when you when you just kind of assume that you know, you just recognize something and go about it like you fully understand, it's actually a dangerous place to be because you're going to waste a lot of time, energy, and effort doing stuff wrong and you're going to deal with frustrations when in actuality, all you have to do is take the take the time, either read about yourself or if it's something like diet and exercise that you really don't understand and get help. That's why Ingrained and Train exists. I'm here to help. I'm here to give you the blueprint for what you need to do to get your results. We take care of the meal plans, the workout guide, the motivation part. All you have to do is just get yourself to do it. All right, so then you don't have to worry about that. It'll save you a lot of a uh, lot of time and energy, and that goes really for anything in life. All right, so you, you got to make sure that you are always learning and do your own research for yourself. Don't go by what somebody else told you, because a lot of times when you do that, you know a lot of people in that under uh, that recognition category are getting bad information. They usually listen to somebody else who failed or didn't know what they were talking about. So you don't even get the whole details, but you you learned from it from a bad source. And that's that's dangerous. You don't want you don't want to go off somebody else's opinion. You want to do your own research. You want to make sure that you talk talk to somebody who who's an expert in the field so they can tell you the full picture. They can tell you the good, the pros and the cons. You know, a lot of times when you talk to somebody, especially about something that's rather challenging, they're gonna tell you more of the negative side of things because they weren't able to do it. All right, and you don't want to form your opinion based on that. Because when you hear these things, your, your mind's gonna come up with a conclusion based on what they said and your own you know, biases and uh, cognitive thinking. And that's a dangerous place to be. So moral of the story, make sure when you're going about a diet, diet plan, nutrition plan, or really anything in life, you wanna make sure that you get all the facts. Don't be so closed-minded and think you know everything. Take the time, learn, ask the right questions, and then you can make a better decision. All right, got any more questions, hit me up. New website, www.ingrain2train.com. You know, we, we got all the, all the information that you need to be a one-stop shop for diet, exercise, and motivation. Thanks.